Obviously, there's the heat of competition, but there's the other side of these athletes that we get to know. Their personalities are incredible, all unique in their own way. We've got two Brazilians in the lineup now. One's a rookie, one's a world champ. Cardoso won an event this year, and DeSouza is finding himself in unfamiliar territory, needing a result to really requalify for next year. That was huge. Uh, what a heat that was, though. I mean, Felipe did everything right. Here we go. Kick things off with Adriano. Just wants to get that big top turn carve out of the way and just nails the end section for a two turn combination. So Adriano enjoying the first ride of the matchup. Tender the system on the championship tour level. Let's look at this first turn again, Potts. Yeah, beautiful turn. Kind of got hung up a little bit right there. But what it did was it put him in the perfect spot to finish strong. I love that. You know, De Souza, one of the best guys at, at getting up into that critical end section and really just free falling down. He's so solid on his feet. Just caught a little bit of a rail, almost went over the handlebars, but it just, he turned a mistake into something positive, and, and that's what world champions do. I mean, watch this turn right here. Beautiful maneuver. Catches that rail just a little bit. And the nose almost goes over the handlebars. That back foot came off the board. But what it did, look at the position it put him in. To finish strong, created a bit of drama. Kid's amazing. There's little decisions that you can identify and react to uh, go a long way. And that was uh, an amazing from him to identify that and understand it. Glassy, smooth conditions setting up for Ryan Callanan. Number two on the QS. Gets a couple of moves off the top on his forehand. Talk about surfers getting warmed up in the dark before things get started. De Souza is famous for that too, but we've been watching Ryan Callanan's warm up every morning just through the dark. It's light pretty late around these parts. A little after 7.30 and arcal has been riding lefts like this first thing in the morning. How'd this one go? Yeah, a couple of nice snaps there. Just needed to get the ball rolling. Um, 5.0 is his uh, top mark at the moment. The water patrol understands his lineup at Le Canoe quite well. And sometimes just like set after sets come and they'll keep weaving their way back and forth. It's always way faster than paddling. As we see that beautiful down carve sweeping into the vertical section is De Souza. Classic form and rhythm from Adriano. Already has a 7-6-7. Seven, seven. He's famous for just taking the lead early and then putting the rest of the heat to bed. He's had some awkward losses this year for himself, but staying true to his game plan here, and it's working for him quickly here in round four, heat number two. Right before his world title run, he even had outside goals, just personally, where he always wanted to ride for Channel Island surfboards. Called him up and they said, welcome to the team. He's had some great equipment ever since. Yeah, he has, and it's looking absolutely beautiful under his feet. Talk about flow. I mean, is there anyone on tour, really, that has as good a flow as Adrian de Souza? Pretty hard to find. You know, that, that rhythm that he has, that deep bottom turn, top turn combo. And once his confidence is up, I mean, it just, it is absolutely seamless. You can see right here, just straight off the bottom, beautiful arcing maneuver, body position, everything making sense. And then straight into the next one, you know, that is just seamless. Beautiful surfing there from De Souza. And a good little backup there for him. 5.83. Something to work towards now. A closeout maneuver. Ryan on the backhand. Beautiful hooking maneuver. Nice slow bottom turn. I like the way he touches the rail with his hand. Drawing nice and low and just unleashing some massive turns. So Ryan Callan, oh, that's definitely his best score. Didn't happen. You could tell that just threw him his game plan completely off. Well, I mean... We'll get back to that in a sec. Here goes Cardoso. Cardoso, first wave here. Round four, heat number two. Just taps the lip with some power. Hucks some spray to the heavens with that carve and belts it vertically with that forehand snap. So waiting a few minutes off the clock to get started, but that was definitely worth the wait. He'll be right where he needs to be. I kind of agree with Matty Wilco. I thought that he swung that heat with that wave, but let's get back to Cardoso. Big turn from him. Right there, that's what we used to have seen from the Panda. And again, throwing spray up into the heavens. The weak link for DeSouza at the moment is his backup, just a 5.83. So that's his mission right now. 
Let's try and better that. Sliding in on the takeoff to get ultra oh. deep and kicking out of the low road exit was the 2015 world champ. Using both his hands to slow down. Now he lets go and drives through that section. Sneaks out in the bottom part of the wave. I think De Souza's going to better his situation. Cardoso's going to put wave number two on the board. Needing a 5.47 jump. Definitely going to better his 5.83 and increase the requirement. More barrels on offer. Wildcard Ryan Callanan beating multiple <laughs> sections. Now setting that rail to chase down the pocket. He had a big backhand barrel in his opening round heat, and he's still swinging on the inside, falling on his final turn. So a bit of a tube shootout in the last couple of minutes. Still waiting for the reaction of DeSouza's barrel, then to Callanan's on the backhand. When he was a wild card, this is a while back, he had Dane Reynolds, and he took him out with a crazy approach like this. Yeah, something very similar to this. I mean, this is the wave of the day for me. That was insane there from Ryan Callanan. That's excellent stuff from him. Deep as you want. One of the longer ones we've seen, and then rattles off a couple of big turns. Didn't quite finish the end maneuver, but a lot of damage done nonetheless. Let's have a look at the shot from the drone here. Slides in, disappeared, disappeared bonus section at the end it comes flying out as clean as you like into a nice little wrapping turn but right here this is where all the points are going to come from joe just squares those shoulders up beautiful tube stance perfect positioning he read that wave absolutely beautifully and then just a couple little cherries on the top with the maneuvers there so interesting to see where the score goes for me, it's the wave of the heat. Still sitting out front with priority. Fun looking left, setting up for our count. Straight up vert to start. Straight into a bottom turn, fin throw, reverse in transition. High line wrap, he's got a little wave to work with. End section approaching, hacks through the white water and gets on out of there. Wasn't one of those maneuvers you see someone do by accident and just like pull it off once. He, he was able to repeat that maneuver. He didn't put his name on it, but he should have. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful snap, vertical in the lip there, and again throws the tail out, spins it around, and then finishes off. So some a series of crazy little maneuvers here. Ryan Callan is starting to feel it, starting to loosen up, and so he should. That last score for the right-hand tube ride, Joe, the wave of the heat, and a massive one. 6,000 rated qualifying series event. Now De Souza wants his lead back. Well overhead section, huge carve off the top. Way out in front, just wets that rail, complete control of that wrap and wow. shuts that thing down. World class surfing going down in round four, heat number two. De Souza needing an 8.14 for the lead. Wow. That's that smooth, clean, seamless surfing that the Souza has. Applauding one of the best seats we've had in the Quicksilver Pro. This was Adriano's last. Yeah, look at that beautiful opening maneuver from the Souza. Double pump, bottom turn, straight into the next one. Just wets that rail, keeps the foot down. Three beautiful maneuvers. Geez, you'd pay good money to be able to surf like that, let me tell you. Look at this turn right here from DeSouza. The style, the position, everything just makes sense from DeSouza. And straight off the bottom into the next one as well and just connects. It seemed like he got so much time to, to unleash those maneuvers. And then vertical snap, slides the tail, free fall drop. And almost takes a bow at the end of that one. That was great from uh, DeSouza. This heat is pumping. It just seems every time Ryan puts his jersey on, the ocean comes to life. <laughs> Callanan has another opportunity. Already starting that deep bottom turn, drills it vertically. Recovers to get out in front. Gets in another big backhand jam. Late ditch effort oh. on the float, and our <laughs> Cal hangs up. We're waiting for another score from Ryan, which in my eyes is going to be excellent as well. Cardosa trying to catch up. Let's have a look at Ryan's wave first turn. I love that bottom turn where he touches the rail and just unloads. A little bit off balance there, but fix it up nicely. Big vertical snap and then goes for broke. Has a commitment on this maneuver. Wow. Insane stuff there from the Novocastrian. Beautiful snap. 
a little bit off balance, but fixed that up quickly and straight up and vertical. Complete control. And look at the commitment there, Joe. I mean, that is pedal to the metal from Callanan. Wow. Cardoso needs to catch up to the pace of his competitors. Lay back into the pit. It's funneling out in front of him. William Cardoso traveling and gets hung up towards the tail end of that cave. Running down to the water's edge. He'll be taking on world number two, Gabriel Medina, coming up next. Also with Mikey Wright in round four, heat three. Cardoso fighting back. A little power hack on the back end. End section approaching. He'll slam that one with a backhand float. His last three attempts haven't factored into his top two. Richard Marsh, a, a former competitor on tour, was part of one of the youngest finals ever. It was at Bell's. Nicky Wood and Dog was second at just 17. What happened on Williams Wave here? Well, a couple of big turns from Cardoso, but I think he's going to need a lot more than that. Best wave is opener, a 6-7-7. So still chasing a 9-7-3, Ryan up and out. But DeSouza started off quickly with that two-turn combo, still keeping that 7-6-7, all about the Kalanen show. Huge vertical. Belting it again right on the money. Massive two-turn combination. Nothing can stop the wild card. He's looking incredible right now, Joe. Probably the best I've ever seen. Good luck, Will, too, when he comes around. He's going to just smash everyone <laughs> if he keeps surfing like this. Like he is right now. He's smashing yep. everybody in the Quicksilver Pro. Two big turns here, Potts. Jams it up through the lip there. It's the confidence is through the roof right now. You can tell. You couple that with the talent this kid's got, and it is danger signs. Let me tell you. 9.43, 8.57, 18.2 wave total. The best of the event. And he's going to walk away with the win here and find himself in the quarterfinals. Wouldn't be surprised if he pushes that high mark even further. 18 point total at the moment, but a score to come in for the two-turn combo. Everybody on the beach applauding Ryan Callanan's performance. The wild card flying into the quarterfinals. He wasn't done after taking out Toledo the other day. Looks like he is destined for the podium at this event. Doing the best surfing on the face, in the barrel. And remember, he is so radical above the lip. Finishes the heat with a 9-1-0, 18.53 combined total.